hello lovely people thank you for coming back and if you are new here welcome to my channel my name is gifty and i make natural hair care and lifestyle videos so if that's something you are interested in then please subscribe to my channel so that you will see more videos from me so in this video i'm going to show how i achieved the bantu knot that you saw in the thumbnail on my type 4 hair so yeah let's get right into it so the product that i showed at the beginning of the video that's what i used i used the hair wonder moisturizing cream and then my hair oil so i had already applied my leave-in conditioner in my hair here so i applied it like hours before because when i finished washing my hair i was tired so i just put my leave-in conditioner then i braided my hair and rested a bit so i'm going to tell you a little secret so this style right i was not going to do the band the bantu knot was not my original hairstyle my original hairstyle was bantu knot curls i wanted to just put my hair in bantu and then like remove it after two days so that like i will flaunt around with the curls <laughs> but it ended in tears <laughs> so yeah but then when i did the bantu knot um like i got a lot of compliments and I, I thought why not just share the bantu knot part of the video so i filmed the part where i removed the bantu knot but i'm just not going to show it because like it was a flop <laughs> but maybe i'll just show you i'll show you at the end of the video yeah so here i've just sectioned part of my hair i'm going to put it in a bantu so you know the traditional bantu knots you just moisturize your hair and then like you twist it like, like i'll show that in this video you twist it So you twist it like I'm doing in the video and then you wrap it around the section but then if you want your curls to pop like if you want your band to not to be really successful then you have to twist it like normal twist and then wrap it yeah I've tried that method before and then like it was a success i don't know what i did wrong this time that it just ended in tears like that but you know we'll do it again another time <laughs> so yeah you twist it like i'm doing and then you wrap it So yeah, that's the bantu knot. So to ensure that it stays as it is, you can either hold it down with a hair tie, like wrap the hair tie around it, or you can hold it down with a hair pin. So that's what I did here. But I didn't do the same for all the sections because like I realized that it could stay by itself. So I didn't have to pin all of them down. Yeah, so I'm going to repeat the same thing on the whole of my head also if you are going to wear the knot like that then your sections have to be really nice like smaller sections and then pat them also in line so that it will look really nice this one because i was going to do the curls i didn't really take my time to do the back section of my head as you can see the sections at the back are a little too big
done we are done so this is how it looks i must say my pattern this time looks way better than i tried it the first time yeah so i'll give you a 360 hi i'm actually going to be going out like this till i remove it that's why i made sure the pattern was a little better i cannot say in good colors one day yeah, it's actually not bad i'll just wear big earrings and then hoop earrings and like it you know hoop earrings they can elevate your outfit from two to ten <laughs> yeah so we are done i'll remove it maybe monday today is as i'll remove it on monday or tuesday see you at takedown bye <laughs> so here i was still trying to rock the bun to not like that like i wanted to do my best to revive it but it just didn't want to so i gave up and finally decided to put my hair in an afro puff hello guys thank you so much for watching this video i'm really sad right now <laughs> because i wanted to even take some nice pictures you know to update my banner but the style was a few so crazy yeah so yeah i'm just going to do this yeah the good old apple puff came to my rescue anyways you see Sometimes you don't have to always let your afro be boring. It's not always that you can just put the tie under it and move everything in front. Sometimes turn it like turn it kakra. Money here. Side puff. <laughs> Anyways, thank you so much for watching this video. Bye. <sighs> Sad. <laughs> so yeah, I've done the good old afro puff. Yep, but I turned it to the side a little, you know, to spice it up. Anyway, thank you so much for watching. Bye. Thank you. Don't forget to like, don't forget to comment, don't forget to subscribe. <laughs> bye, bye, bye.